Hi, there's, there's a bit more energy in the room. Today is a great day. Wamama, hi. Hi. Ama ni jaribu na wababa? Kuna wababa kadha. Your Excellency and uh, distinguished uh, leaders, it is indeed quite a privilege and honor and a joy on behalf of the people of Nairobi for us to be hosting this function today in Nairobi. Thank you for choosing the county of Nairobi. You could have done this anywhere in the country, but I'm sure you chose Nairobi not because of convenience, but because you are sure there's a governor who supports this cause um, in the county of, of Nairobi. Your Excellency um, and my colleague governors will tell you, uh, starting with my big sister Anne, Anne Waiguru, whom we really look up to, you know, you've shown exemplary, <laughs> exemplary leadership, you know, at the Council of Governors, and you've had a long journey with you from when we worked in the National Treasury. Cecil Mbarire, you know, with the indefatigable spirit, you know, a jewel in the east of Mount Kenya. Gladys Wanga, you know, who is, who is setting the pace in many, many respects, being the first woman governor in her region, you know, and we were together in, in National Assembly and uh, worked even later together. Of course, my sister Susan, Former super, former super senator, now super governor, doing amazing in uh, Nakuru, Mwishimiwa Achani. You know, we're proud of you. Being elected in a, in a Muslim, uh, you know, county um, where previously, you know, religious uh, uh, limitations would not have had you there. And you've set the pace such that we've seen even in Marsabit now they're endorsing a lady to become governor and, and, and you're, you're, you're paving the way for many more. Hongera sana. Um, of course, the unbeatable, the, the res resilient, eh? the indefatigable, Kawira, Mwangaza. You know, tomorrow my daughter will tell me she can be anything she wants to be in this country. Whether or not it is political, because she will not know any glass ceiling or any limitation, whether she wants to be president, whether she wants to be a doctor, whether she wants to be a governor, it will not be a strange thing. So we must applaud the women who've been there, who've set the pace. Of course, Mama Wetu Charity in Gilu. We recognize you. Thank you. Thank you so much for paving the way from being the first woman presidential candidate in 1997. Masani ya? Masani ya mama na masani ya ngilu. Many times you may not know what your individual actions reflect to people in society. Who you, may never meet you. Who may never get a chance to say thank you. But you inspired a generation. And that is why the ladies to your left are where they are today. When President Obama came to Kenya in his second term, he said that when you exclude women from education, from opportunities, and from leadership, then you're only playing with, with half of the team. And how do you expect to win with only half of the team on the pitch? It is not only absurd, it is dumb. We need to have, and, 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 and I must say that our claim to democracy as a country is tainted when half of the team is not on the table. I'm very proud that the women of Kenya in various aspects, have decided to wake up from the slumbers of apathy to the pains and joys of national consciousness, and you've refused to watch your destiny pass you by. Many times, and I will blame us as men, many times, not just in politics, but even in business, but even in the corporate world, we've made it seem that the biggest obstacle for women in excelling and getting to the top is your femininity. And many times we tell you, be like a man. I want to say there's nothing that is farther from the truth. The flavor that women leadership adds is much needed. That beyond numbers and beyond budgets, your compassion sees faces. Your compassion sees people. So please don't try and say that for you to win these seats, Mukwe kama wanaume, jikaze kama wanaume, apana kuwa kama mama. Because ni mama, ndo tunaitaji.
nikimalizia kwa sababu wa muda i am very happy that this g7 strategy is going to be done uh, chronologically starting with county 1 till 47 so by the time you get to 47 ndakuwa nimemaliza so mkianza kuongeza idadi ya wamama tafadhali muanzie number 1 Two, three, ndo mumalizie Nairobi. And we will support because, and that's on a light touch. I am a he for she champion. I have been he for she champion since I was a member of the National Assembly when I brought the amendments of what we today have as AGPO of 30% procurement opportunities for women, for youth, and for persons with disability. I'm proud of that legislation. I was a he for she champion in the Senate you know, um, uh, not just legislating, but once, Your Excellency, I was, there was a controversy when I led the Kewopa delegation to the CSW, and I said, issues of gender are not men versus women. You need male champions as well to believe in this agenda. And the minute you get men who believe in this agenda, like my brother Kimani Ishungwa, who is here as a leader of majority, then you can make them put their money where their mouth is when they go to the floor of parliament, when we're talking about the two-thirds gender rule, and we're talking about all other interventions. I must recognize my sister, Beatrice Alachi, who has just come in. She's, I think, my only woman, woman MP in Nairobi County. Out of 17, please let's appreciate uh, Mweshimiwa Elachi. So Asante Nisana, please feel at home. Nairobi is a very gender-responsive county. And uh, I know one day in the future, especially after nine or so years, we will have a woman governor in Nairobi <laughs> who I will support with all my heart. As we move from G7, you know, G16 at Nikidogo, I think we can do better. And if we commit, and I, I want to say this without any fear of contradiction, to especially target, because you know we sit in the Council of Governors together, at Pangia Wenzetu, Sidio. If we target the counties where men and, and women even, but men have done two terms, sit once in Aizo, those to kuja to support, Koizo counties, what we have term bill, do to end the Just as kuja apa kuja potesi akazi. Na wapenda sana Nairobi tunasema to nawalombo tov. May God bless you. And uh, at kweli nawalombo tov kabsa. The next speaker is a former governor and was among the first women to be elected in the country as governors. Let's put our hands together and welcome former Kitui Governor, Honorable Charity Ngilu. Uh, thank you so much. Your Excellency, Dr. William Samoyeo Ruto, President of the Republic of Kenya and Commander-in-Chief of the Armed Forces. Your Excellencies, <laughs> Madam Governor, and my guru, my colleague before I left, and now the Chair of Council of Governors, Madam Cicely Berire, Governor of uh, Embu, and indeed, the leader of the ruling party, UDA. And this is what we always advocate for. Your Excellencies, Homa Bay Governor, and a person I met when you were extremely young and still in college. Your Excellency, Madam Susan, Kehika, Your Excellencies, <laughs> Madam Stale Wale, Your Excellencies, Vavinya Ndeti Machakos, Your Excellencies, Kawira Mangaza Meru. <laughs> Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, good morning. Good morning. Uh, today is a great day for us as the women of Kenya. And really, I want to first thank Your Excellency for gracing this occasion. Being here shows how much you support the women of Kenya, and how far you want them to go. For us women, when we are supported this way, we really got to take this with both hands and to make sure that this G7 that has started today and is being 
strategy being launched today can go a long way in increasing the number of women in leadership in this country. When you work with the women, as um, Governor Sakaja has said, if you work with half in the field, half the team, you cannot achieve as much as you should achieve. So women need to be involved in every sphere of development. And I want to ask Your Excellency Anwai Guru, we are talking about increasing the numbers to 16, but may I ask that we should increase the numbers to 25, if not 47. Having women governors in the 47 counties will really help the President to go forward. And indeed, let's start looking at the government itself, making sure that whoever President will be there will get 50 percent of his cabinet or her cabinet to be women. We must not be apologetic to what we want. And we, I want to assure you, Your Excellency, by the way, if you have more women in leadership, they will help you carry a lot of the work that you are doing. They will help you, and very well indeed, you will be freer than you are today. Women, I think there is something I want to say here about politics. Something is worrying me very much. We women have seen here that we are going to make sure that we will work across political divide. All parties, we as women must come together and ensure that whatever party you are in will support you where you are. What for me has shocked me in the last few days is a new handshake, Your Excellency. And they thank you for supporting Baba to become the AU chair. But you cannot take him alone. He has many other people with him. He had many, many people with him. And I still need to understand, and I'll study this a little bit, to understand how this works amongst male leadership. Women don't do that. Uh, since I haven't known how it works, I'll continue to learn how it works. For us right now today, we must make sure we increase the number of women, we go to the grassroots, let's not leave it at the governor's level, we'll go to the grassroots level, we'll increase the number of women who are there, we'll identify them, we'll make sure that they are trained, they have got skills, we'll build confidence in them, and ensure that we know the wards they are going to run, increase the number of MCAs, increase the number of women members of parliament, increase the number of women governors, increase the number of all women in their places. And of course, the final seat is the presidential seat. Don't run away from it. Women want it like yesterday. So, Your Excellency, the best you can now do, and I want to ask this for the women in office and out of the office, please help these women to mobilize resources to get to the villages and to ensure that women can be empowered enough. I want to say that I didn't know I was going to be asked to speak, but I'm happy you have given me an opportunity to say something. Governor Sakaja, Nairobi Niyako, Lakini sioni wanawake vizuri hapa Nairobi. Tafadhali weka wanawake tuwaone. You cannot talk about he for she and we are not seeing it. You must walk the talk. And I'll be on your case. Your Excellency and Anwar Iguru, please, Governor, be on the President's case and make sure that we keep him on his toes to ensure that we have the numbers. I want to thank you very much for inviting me to say a few words. Please women, young women governors, shine and shine and shine for Kenya. Asante sana. Thank you. Thank you, Madam Gilu. Allow me now to welcome Majority Leader National Assembly, Honorable Kemani Ishungwa. Let's put our hands together and welcome him to come and make his remarks. Karibu.